Pax Avitor et Pariam, Fadego Divas Yadimachi, Dio Yo No Prachotaya. Namaste, Aquarians. Welcome to my channel. Super excited. Please like, share, and comment below. I can get some feedback on this channel. I'm also going to, it's not going to just be readings on here, guys. I'm going to be like, I don't know, I feel super creative and inspired. So I don't know exactly. Uh, I want to share a lot of secrets that I've been able to manifest in my life and whatnot. So please like, share, and subscribe because this is just getting off. And I'm just excited to be here. I'm so blessed that you are watching. So Aquarius, what is going on for December 2018? What's going on this month? Well, for the next three weeks anyways, right? Because I am still trying to figure out how to time schedule myself and getting these out. All right, let's see what's going on. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's see. Ah, Spirit, can we please bring down the container for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for December 2018, yo? Can we please bring down that amazing container that everything is of light and of the dark? If we don't know light, we can't know the dark. And if we don't know the dark, we can't know the light. We are here, even if we're sitting in the dark, to know that everything is always aligned in perfect balance and we are exactly where we need to be. Thank you, Spirit. Aho. Please transform anything. That is not in this beautiful, sacred alignment of the beautiful cosmos. Because we are working in just in that beautiful alignment. Please bring that down. Aho! Transform anything that is not in alignment. Aho! Let's see. Let's see what's up, Aquarius. Super excited. I love doing these. I realized when I was doing so many tarot a day in my private practice, like I've come out live now to you guys. Uh, I was like, I should just go on YouTube and see what the hell happens. Like, I've been doing this for years, years, years. People just really word of mouth. So let's see what happens. I want to reach more people, you know? All right, Aquarians, you're ready. You are ready. Was pulled to use these for you guys. Let's see. The energy that are you are in right now is patience and planning. Okay, Sun Pentacles, slow moving. Financially looking at your plans, putting things in place, realizing that the new year is coming. You want to manifest some different things this year coming in the new year, Aquarians. All right. I also feel there's some type of entrepreneurship, looking into work, trying to figure out your calling, wanting to do, you know, your own thing, something you know there's something more. So this is a slow moving seven of pentacles impatience and planning, but it's also very awesome because you're actually putting um, some really deep rooted foundations down. Let's take a look at your mental realm. We do the mental realm, the emotional realm, and what's physically manifesting out of your mental and emotional. The first one is memories of love, past life, past life, soul, past life soulmate, or, or past issues from the past are coming up in your mental space, in your situation. We've also got the four of pentacles putting down a firm foundation on the planet. We just, Claire, we just said that just said that totally in flow here guys it's learning to be in your mental space to be in your heart that is a total good balance right there aquarians because in your mental world right now you're learning how to be in your heart that's the fine balance that's what mastery is all about and you're also having some emotional loss in your mental world okay um yeah that's why you're you're wanting things to be better in 2019 things are things are going to be uh coming up good for you don't worry about that I feel that, um, yeah, things are shifting. Things are shifting. In your emotional realm, your situation right now is that you're suffering, okay? You're also learning how to speak your truth. That is what you're feeling in your emotional realm, is learning how to be really honest and speaking up for yourself, okay? I also feel there might be some people out there who actually can sing, who are following an artistic uh, endeavor right now. And this is just for some of you, but this is coming through. And I feel the universe is saying, if you're creative and you're a singer and you're a performer, you need to just go out and do it. Um, gain your confidence in that because that's your calling. Okay, just had to put that out there. Wow, you guys are aligning here. Okay, you are aligning your heart, your throat, your solar plexus. 
okay? Now, there is a little bit of clarity that I'm getting here to give you guys. In your mental realm, you're really trying to hold this heart space and feel it, which is great. That's awesome. And in your feeling space, you're trying to feel your self-esteem, feel your self-worth, speak your truth, feel and know your worth, and hold this in the mental space. Um, what I want to suggest, too, is what I'm feeling a lot of the Aquarians doing is you're pulling energy down through the top of your head. I want to say, can you try and pull it down and fester it down from your gut and push it up into your heart, okay? Go with gut feelings and your instincts and start there and push that energy up, okay? And I feel like you're starting to do that. This is, this is, um, kind of, I kind of would like to see, um, you know, this isn't a good space. This is what you're actioning. But I would like to see this actually in, in your feeling space um, instead. Because I, I I know you're trying to focus on this and speaking your truth and standing up for yourself. But I want you to get into more of a gut operation place. So that kundalini energy can rise up. Okay? But this is still good. Like, that's just some little advice that I wanted to give you that was coming through for some of you. Is learn how to push energy from your soul up from the kundalini instead of pulling it down. That may change things for you as well, okay? You're also learning how to feel your strength and your power and be in your power. All right, Aquarians. Let's move this here so you can see that. Perfect. What's manifesting in your physical world? New awareness. The magician. Learning how to be the creator of your life. Aho. Yeah, that's good. That's good because uh, that's a... That's really what I was feeling is that um, you're ready for the upswing of things. And yeah, upswing of things, prosperity begins. Ace of Pentacles right there. New partnerships, new abundance. Your fruit is ripe for picking. So things are coming up on the upswing, guys. All right, you've been releasing. There is some suffering that's still going on in your situation. Um, we're going to take a look at that because I feel like that suffering is what's actually holding back in regards to the soulmate this is either a soulmate or past childhood issues that are coming up in regards to relationship that a soulmate has brought forward there's some triggers that have happened either via a relationship from a past soulmate karmic partner it could also be a twin flame we'll have to get some clarification as we go deeper into the reading but um yeah, there's definitely something from your past in your situation that is causing some strife in your life right now, but it's here to bring you the awareness in your situation, okay? It's manifesting as awareness. It may not feel like that. I know when you feel like crap, we think, oh my God, I feel like crap. Feeling the crap is actually a good thing. And I'm just going to keep saying that because <laughs> a lot of people fight it, but I'm here to dive into it, okay? Um, all right, let's see what else is manifesting in your desires and your actions. Two of pentacles, juggling. So it's very interesting in your actioning and your desire is you're coming into alignment. You're working on your shockers. You're working on yourself so that you can learn how to juggle things. Okay, so you're, you're trying to juggle things, how to make decisions and choices. Things are moving. Um so that you can be strong in yourself when you make these decisions, which is amazing because you want to be able to come from a place of deep truth in yourself to make choices. You don't want to make choices out of your head. So it's really great that you're bringing your heart into your mind and you're trying to work from this place and you're trying to align, you know, your truth, your self-esteem and your heart. Like freaking beautiful, guys. Beautiful to make these decisions, to make this new beginning happening. And your outcome, aho. Uh -huh. Aho, motherfucking aho. Commitment, wisdom, marriage, unity, union. Wow. Okay, so I'm thinking this is a very highly divine relationship just because of that card that's come up, the Hierophant, which is wisdom, which is marriage, which is commitment, which is something holy. Holy mother of God, because you got here the past life and you've got the, you know, uh, the Hierophant right at the end. So there's something very spiritually going on, some type of spiritual transformation, definitely, that's happening to you guys. Um, this is the first card out. Um, and it's funny that the overall read here is patience and planning. Um, so you're taking things slow, you're doing your inner work, you're aligning Aquarius to yourself, 
you're really learning how to stay strong in your chakras in your energy field which is amazing for manifesting and what you're also doing here is you're having i know right now mentally you're having emotional loss okay you're depressed you you know also emotionally in your situation you're you're having anxiety and, and not sleeping at night um this is the clearing that's happening from the situation in regards to the soulmate and what's happening here is um you're learning to gain your power in your emotions you're learning to gain your power in your chakra system and that is what's going to manifest union and it and you know when i say union i'm talking about union to self okay i don't ever like to put anything on outside of yourself at all everything is on outside of you is a reflection of your inner world it really freaking is so i ain't gonna be like oh is my partner coming back is this coming back to me is this you know yeah it may come back to you but that's only if you're gonna do your inner work right it's only for doing your inner work but something's coming you've got some new type of commitment and i think it's commitment to self it's committed to doing your work it's committed to getting you know healing you know anything that when we feel these distressed emotions all that is 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 a clearing it's a healing it's it's something of lack that you haven't loved yourself in that space yet and so now you're learning to love yourself in that space it's beautiful all right guys whoa whoa so many falling and i haven't even all right let's get some clarifiers let's get some clarifiers not taking reversal spirit let's please clarify this reading for our beautiful beautiful aquarians what up with the Aquarians? What up, what up, Aquarians? Let's see what's going on. Okay. My beautiful Aquarians. Oh, let's see what's going on with you guys. We're going to clarify first the overall read of the energy here, which is the Seven of Pentacles. Moving towards planning. Looking ahead. Looking to put down... Uh, your root so that you can have longevity in all the seasons you know you've got all the seasons here all the four seasons you got rain sun snow i don't know if you can see that on the camera let's clarify spirit for aquarius december 2018 please what is going on oh my gosh guys so much energy so <laughs> i don't even know where to even Everything's falling. Well, I gotta get up because it fell over on the other side of the table. Okay, let's let's try this again. Ah, oh, let's try this again. Can we please clear the energy, please, in the card spirit? I know, I know, you're really, really trying to bring up the messages here, but we need to kind of contain it in this container. Please and thank you. Keep the cards on the table. That would be amazing. Okay. All right, let's clarify. Seven of Pentacles, much better. Thank you, Spirit. Perfect. See how that works? Works like a charm. All right. Yep, you're ready. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay. What's going on here? Self-love. Page of Cups on the bottom. Okay, this is the self-love card. Page of Cups, a small offering of love. Okay, during your planning. I feel that's because you're doing your planning. You're you're trying to put down things that you want to manifest in your life and start looking at your, your life and, and what you want to create of that. It's coming out of the self-love for yourself. Okay, so this is really a self-love reading um, because something has happened here from your past this could be for some when i'm feeling things from your past as a childhood that you're just now healing that's come through a relationship or it's also a highly sacred union that has brought up stuff from the past to heal either or take it as as you wish let's clarify memories of love please spirit what is the six of cups here tower yeah this broke you guys this broke you guys this whatever came up from your past this soulmate connection this person from your past or bringing up past life issues that you haven't loved yourself in that's really what i'm feeling is this person i feel it's like a highly evolved um soulmate connection that has brought up stuff that has to break things down with you can we please clarify the tower please okay the knight of cups flipped up 
So a charmer, you know, um, not in and out. Um, knights are very quick. They're more about moving quickly in and out of things. They're on a they're on a mission, right? But there's some emotional immaturity here with the with the Knight of Cups. Okay, they're charming. They're beautiful. They're coming in and out with their cup, but they're in and out with that cup of love. Yeah, and that's why you're in a hangman position with this individual. All right. Why are you suffering? All right, we've got some cards here for suffering. Okay, so I feel like I need to take these. So let's take a look at how they've come out. This is basically, I'm just flipping them from upside down to this way. So this suffering, what I'm getting for you, Aquarians, is when you suffer, you're clearing. And as you're clearing, it's opening up into intuitive channels in your in your life. Now, the high priestess sits between these two columns, between the yin and the yang, if you notice, okay? In the Rider Way tarot deck, there's one says B, one says J, um, which is an inscription for, it just, I can't remember, but there's meaning there because she, she guards the gate to the subconscious. Okay, people think this card is about keeping things hidden. I don't think so. It's a highly, highly, highly divine feminine card for me, okay? She is also the counterpart to the Hierophant. So this could be also a twin flame connection that's coming up. But what's coming up here, she guards the gates of the subconscious. And in order to enter that gate, you must come humble to know the secrets of the universe. And through this suffering, you are finding out the secrets to the universe, the secrets to yourself, the power inside of yourself. This silence, this cry, this suffering in silence, this crying at night, let it, don't resist it. Allow it to flow and give and surrender to the universe so that more of this divination can come into your life. Your intuition is picking up. Um, you're going to get clear messages. You're entering the gates of the subconscious. It's really beautiful. And you'll be able to make really strong choices in your life because of this. Okay, you're going to be able to make choices from a place of high intuition instead of from the mental mind, from a, a discerned feeling place in your life. You don't want to make decisions from your mind. I know a lot of people think you got to think about it and make the decision. No, you got to be so aligned in your feelings. You got to know your feelings like in and out, back, forth, all avenues. And to know that is to enter the gates of the high priestess. You can't get there until you clear and you're really going to look at your shit. That's what you're doing so that you can make really strong choices. Because you've got, you want to be able to give and receive equally. Okay. The energy has not been balanced before for you and you're looking for balance. You're looking for balance because you're juggling. Here you're juggling again, okay? So you're juggling something in regards to this connection with the divine masculine, okay? Wow. I need a sip of water after that energy. Woo! That like went right to my third eye. Okay, Aquarius, so... You've had to learn to juggle this. And, and this is the part that you're coming into mastery with that I don't think a lot of people realize on this twin flame journey is that you got to be able to manage depression, anxiety, anger, sadness, love, lust, passion, happiness, joy, apathy. Like you got to learn how to do all of that simultaneously in one moment. That's what mastery is. That's what man. That's how you become the creator and the manifester of your world is clearing your energy systems to get to this point. And that's what you're doing. So allow this to happen. Okay, guys, because I mean, the juggling is happening. It is going to go back and forth before you can actually make a choice. You are hung out of this tower moment. It's okay. It's, it's all perfectly divinely meant to happen. Don't beat yourself up for looking like a basket case. Because you know what, my loves, when you are called crazy... It's a compliment. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with your throat chakra hair, okay? Because that's also part of this intuition that's picking up, the creativity that I brought up. Yep, making a decision. You're blinded to some decisions right now, okay? And that's why this throat chakra, you don't know how to speak up to talk about these decisions. You're still kind of contemplating these decisions. Um, that's why you've got, the, you're juggling so much, right? So there's a decision that needs to be made that you need to speak your truth up about. I say speak your truth up, but really start feeling it out first, okay? Make sure that you're really in a knowing, authentic place in your gut, all right? 
yeah because you're ready to look up at the horizon and move forward you're looking ahead you're you know this is the patience of planning you're looking forward to the future you're looking and saying okay how am i going to move on now how am i going to move forward now how am i going to go towards where i need to go because i want this this new prosperous beginning that's what i'm working at manifesting right here in my physical world that's what i'm feeling i'm ready to manifest new partnerships i'm ready to reap the benefits of this fruit from this tree can you please clarify spirit the ace of pentacles here for aquarius can you please clarify the ace of pentacles for aquarius please thank you all right okay so the five of swords here moving on is very difficult okay this new ace of pentacles is hard you know that this new avenue is coming is here that you need to manifest and i feel that it's without somebody okay i feel like whatever's happened here is moving on and that's what you're juggling do i let this person go or do i not let them go i know i need to make a decision i know i need to speak my truth i know i need to align i'm healing here i'm aligning my chakras now i'm looking at a firm foundation in my life i know emotionally i need to do this i know emotionally i need to look forward to to creating this new abundance but i'm in pain and i'm sad about it because this night is in and out with communication okay not standard communication which is really interesting because there's a throat chakra here so the communication is blocked it's either communication is blocked or it's very stagnant or it's it's not deep communication okay whatever you're looking for it's kind of feeling kind of childish because i mean the knight of cups is here and that's emotional immaturity to me um i i ain't dealing with um pages and knights anymore deal with the kings you know what i mean you know what i'm saying deal with royalty because you are royalty <laughs> you are you're blessed to be here so let's clarify this knight of uh swords here please this in and out communication for aquarians what's going on what's going on with this in and out in this in this depression with this new beginning that's trying to manifest in the physical world okay wow two of wands decisions again okay new partnerships new contracts moving forwards towards that so you are really getting seem to be getting pushed by the universe aquarius in regards to the soulmate connection and moving forward okay you've gained awareness let's see can you clarify this awareness wow look at this the magician again on top of the magician you are in your power this is powerful like i know people think that when you're depressed and you're sad that you're not in a powerful place but you really are because you are so clearing and the thing is because you're hung up on a decision right now once you make that choice once you clear fully clear as you're loving yourself right because this is self-love remember the overview of patience and planning you are definitely going to move forward and you're going to be a badass manifester huge creator in creating the ace of pentacles look at that ace of pentacles right next to the other ace of pentacles okay and on top of this ace was that you're depressed that you've got to move on i'm telling you it it only feels that way for now guys okay <sighs> the drama behind this i'm gonna tell you you're an evolved soul you don't want no drama drama like seriously as much as you deeply love and as much as you feel that connection trust me the more that you work towards yourself in here and i'm not saying you totally cut off this person right you keep a place of open communication but you set healthy emotional boundaries for yourself which is what you're doing with your chakras you're learning to speak your truth more standing up in your self-esteem your self-love bringing your heart chakra into your mental world um and working through this grieving this and letting things go doesn't mean that you actually like people think that when you let things go you actually you know when people let things go they do it from a place of suffering the root of emotion that where you're sending intention or the root of emotion of where you make choices from is so important when you surrender and let go to the universe you do it from the root of love for everybody not from the root of anger or suffering or depressed or frustration or it's just because it's what I have to do because every twin flame person out coach out there says just let him go just let him go no one looks at the emotional intention the root because if you don't have the roots in 
you ain't gonna manifest what you want and then that's how people get stuck in this loop and continue suffering for a really long ass time it's absolutely ridiculous you don't need to do that keep loving keep loving but realizing that when you let go you're not stopping the love okay let's look at this two of uh pentacles here juggling please spirit this two of pentacles for aquarians please two of pentacles for aquarians thank you wow wow okay so there were two if you saw that landed like this underneath was the king of pentacles so definitely that the devil is here okay which is uh ego based uh entrapment ego patterns that are playing out in your physical world in regards to what you're juggling so you're juggling some ego shit you're juggling the ego shit with this divine masculine king of pentacles okay there's some ego stuff it's either about money ego with um mm -hmm, something about money um building something together with this person there's still a lot of ego that's with this other counterpart and that's what you're juggling so spirit is saying you got to look at it the choices that you make aquarius you've got to look at almost what i'm seeing is make a list okay here are all the ego traits this is what all the ego is in this connection and this is what love is really all about and if i'm going to move towards love how am i going to move towards the love okay Whew. all right let's take a look at your chakras i'm going to just ask for the chakras here where's the heart and the solar plexus chakra let's look to the heart first let's look at this heart chakra first please heart chakra here for aquarius please heart chakra thank you moving on moving away fast communication travel but i feel it's like you're moving um quickly into either away from this person is is what i'm feeling um you're, you could be moving towards them too um <laughs> because it depends on the choice that you make right but it's fast movement in your heart um okay let's look at the emotional loss mentally what's the emotional loss here for aquarians please page of pentacles okay it's about an offer that came forward something that was brought to your attention an offer that may not have sat well with you okay too many fell out there guys just give me a sec all right can you clarify here please the emotional loss so there's something was said something was offered something was given and you're like nah that that, that doesn't feel good to me what you don't you're, you're what you're giving me what you're moving away you're what you're letting me go what something from this offer wasn't very good in your physical world and it's causing you know cause a lot of apathy all right this emotional loss so let's clarify this commitment because i'm seeing that there's a commitment here the hierophant okay let's first yes first let's do the strength i asked for strength and the ace of wands fell out so passionate new beginning that's coming wow you guys are getting passionate like new beginnings you've got three aces here you've got the ace of pentacle twice and you've got the ace of wands up here so physically it's manifesting a new beginning and emotionally by holding your power you're manifesting something really powerful here let's we didn't look at the solar plexus let's look at the solar plexus and the solar plexus wow okay we now have the king of cups and the four of pentacles that's hanging on to this king of cups so this is what i'm getting you feel that this person is already a king of cups all right and i'm just saying in your situation this person is not mature as a king of cups i think you're seeing soul potential aquarius i think you're seeing through this connection of what they could mature into in the physical realm and yeah you may be so intuitive that you're picking up on their higher self and you're like wow they're freaking amazing but that's because you're picking up on their higher self you're picking up on their soul potential you're picking it up on that energy because you're intuitive and you're an aware being because you're highly evolved soul right and what's happening is now this is actually where they're at that they're still immature they're not sitting on no throne they're still going in and out they're still riding that horse all over the damn place like this is the thing this is the situation the situation is saying this soulmate is not mature yet that's what you know you're hung up on this and this is why you feel this person's already a king and you can't let go of this person and it's causing issues in your self-esteem like this person is not royalty yet for you 
Not at all. So you got to look at that too in regards to how do you want to move forward? Okay, because I feel like you see them as the king of pentacles too, but I think they're more of a page giving you an offer. Do you see how that is? The immaturity? Like, <laughs> and, and it's an ego. It may be an ego that your ego is playing tricks on you saying this person is more than what you actually can see with your eyes. So I think you need to open your eyes a little bit more into seeing where the maturity level is here. Okay, even if it's a great strong connection, if the maturity level is not there, um, there's only so much that you can do. And yeah, wow, look at this. As we're clarifying this, as we're talking about the King Pentacles, this cycle. It's a new cycle that's coming forward. Can we clarify the commitment card, please? Thank you. All right. I'm taking the one that flipped upwards. The strength. Have strength in this commitment. Without spirit. Okay. Wow. Have strength with the relationship with the lover's card. Okay. Lover's card. Whoops, you guys can't see that. Lover's card came up. Strength is here. Okay. But you have to have the strength because this is depressing. This commit, if you're going to commit to this, it's a cycle that's that needs to, to come through. Um, this, what's happening, this relationship is um, you're committed. I feel it's a soul, it's definitely a highly evolved twin flame connection here. Okay, you are going to be committed no matter what you are in spirit. Okay, and you've got to learn how to balance this. Hold the strength in that in this in this type of divine union. Even when those the five of cups is there, even when it's depressing as hell. I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I get this, you guys. I'm dealing with the same thing, okay? Five of cups, please. Can you please clarify the five of cups? What is going on with the five of cups? I'm feeling this depressed energy, right? Five of cups because there's options to the emotional abundance that you seek, okay? The five of cups on top of the ten of cups. So the emotional ten of cups abundance and the options that you have is spirit is saying you can get out of this by looking at your other options so that you can get your ten of cups you do not and that's how you hold your strength through this relationship okay through this union and to be committed to self okay um commitment to self i i feel i don't see I didn't see judgment didn't come up. I don't see a reconciliation that's happening this month, but I feel this is really a place for you Aquarians in learning how to be strong in this, how to clear in this and how to really make strong decisions in order for you to either act from the ego, what's good for you or what's good from your heart, right? And for your soul and for your growth, what's the highest good choice for you? And here, like with the commitment, it's like to hold such a strong, um, surrender to this that's really what i'm getting with this and 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 to be strong in this type of connection um with this beautiful lover's card okay um because this is also about a choice of making a choice about this relationship um because it's it's not bringing you good feelings you're not feeling good about it and spirit wants you to look at your options because there's other options that will bring you a wish of a, a beautiful ten of cups. Okay, this person is not mature yet by any means, not mature at all. I think you may be coming clear to that if you don't already know that. And the decisions aren't clear yet in what you need to make. Let's pick some, um, yeah, the decisions aren't quite clear yet, but they will be. Okay, you just got to hang in there and keep doing what you're doing. Okay, this month and um, be really diligent about the choices that are coming up and what you and what choices you need to make. All right, let's take a look. We're going to pull some um, portals for you of what portals are opening up for you in December so that you can take this message now and focus that on these portals of where you can um, focus your attention to. Okay, let's just move all this stuff out of the way. Okay, let's do that. All right, let's take a look at the portals. Portals for Aquarians for December 2018, please. What portals can they focus on that are opening up for their well-being? Please, aho, transform anything that is not a pie is good. Thank you. What portals are opening up for Aquarians in December 2018? Sun, moon, and rising. 
Thank you. What is opening up for Aquarius? Oops, what's opening up for Aquarius? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Too many. What is opening up? Oh my god, do you think I can pick this up? I got these nails done with my daughter for her birthday last week. Oh my god, and I, I don't usually have long nails, and they're driving me a little bit nuts. Okay. <laughs> what is going on with Aquarius? Please, what portals? Thank you. Igniting courage is the first thing out. Coming into your power. Damn right you are. Damn right you are. If anything, this connection has brought you more into your power. You're committing to yourself. You're committing to choosing your power of choice is the biggest thing Aquarius your power of choice is so important and you're learning now that the choices you make are very important that's why you're kind of hung on the decisions now because you're really taking your time to discern the energy that's going on in your life thank you and starting fresh look at that look how many pentacles you got um not pentacles sorry how many aces you got you got ace of pentacles ace of um What was it? Ace of Pentacles twice and the Ace of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So igniting courage. You're strong, vigilant, courageous. You're getting on that damn horse. Look at that. You're like, I'm out of here. I'm choosing me. I'm going to learn my fucking shit from this stuff. I'm going to learn hardcore what's happened here with this connection. I am aligning my chakras. I'm going to grieve like I've never grieved. Let this shit go. So I know how to choose properly in my life. I am going to be strong. I am going to be courageous. I'm going to move forward because I am coming into my power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. I am a child of the universe. The universe is expressing itself through me. And I'm going to manifest the shit out of this. I'm ready for this. I'm done. Like you're done, Aquarius. I am so done feeling like crap because... I have walked up these boulders. I have hiked up this trail and I made it up here with or without my twin. It doesn't freaking matter. I'm going to stand here and love myself because look at what I have put into my life. I am not going to choose this depression and this anxiety anymore. I'm going to create something amazing. I'm going to create a brand new fresh start in balance in myself because I deserve it wonderful new beginning is blossoming in my life and look how beautiful that that's a yin and yang within yourself all right aquarius that's your reading for december please like share and comment i would love to hear what's going on with you guys and how this resonated with you please 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 like share and subscribe and i can't wait to see you again love love and all the best in this december namaste to everybody Oh.